What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here again today. Uh, this is related to a recent comment that Nev Campbell just gave to Variety today. She spoke to Variety or Variety spoke with Nev Campbell recently about a Scream return and it appears she's open to it, which would include, of course, a possibility of her appearing in Scream 7. It's not meaning she will, but she said, and I quote, under the right circumstances, that's how she would return so she's keeping the same energy she's been going over but she said i honestly don't have any idea what their plans are i know a lot has gone on around it obviously referencing the drama that's been happening with barrera and landon she says and i'm sure they're spinning a little bit at the moment these movies mean a lot to us and they mean a lot to the fans i go to these conventions sometimes and i meet the fans and they're frantic about these films they love them these films mean a lot to them and these characters mean a lot to them. So even for their sake, I would love to see it continue. Now, this comment is already causing mixed reactions because there is a one size fits all answer that everyone wants to hear from her. Look, as much as I would enjoy hearing her bash Spyglass even further, this is very in line with her keep it professional type of remarks. She's very good at delivering. Now, right circumstances to me could mean pay me correctly obviously proper use of sydney prescott of course and the main event of this evening spyglass no longer has their hands in this cookie jar when nev is addressing hoping to see continue for the sake of the fans she definitely is coming from a place of a like she references having personally heard stories about what sydney means to people and what scream as a franchise means to people who me and you have never met I still find it amazing how the internet just convinces people that frustration within their spaces or communities online represents the majority of people, and it usually doesn't. Sure, I want Spyglass to relinquish the, right, the rights myself. I want Melissa Barrera back, and I have people who heckle me for wanting her back, people who heckle me for wanting Spyglass to relinquish the rights because they hate Melissa. They think Spyglass is doing a phenomenal job, whatever. I want her back with jenna and i of course want the split story told with them and sydney like what was planned however a lot of people simply do not give a rat's ass about who does or doesn't have rights to a film or what is going on dramatically with them in their personal lives because that's not what they came to the theater for they are coming to be entertained escape reality whatever hardship they're going through if they're going through some because not everybody who goes to the movie obviously is going through some type of hardship and trying to escape reality in that capacity and they then simply want to go home afterwards a lot of people do not look up every little detail about directors producers writers actors etc because they have more important things to do like gee i don't know go to work figure out how to put food on the table at night manage their health and countless things that take time away from hey who involved with scream is absolute scum a jackass and what drama is going on with this ip because you know that's going to dictate if i buy a ticket or not a lot of people just do not engage with art like that despite our own realities managing to somehow delude us or convince us otherwise from time to time nine times out of ten if i go up to someone at the premiere of screen seven and i say hey do you know you're supporting a company who fired an actress for wanting peace they're gonna go okay and because it just offers little significance to them it's just not going to be very relevant to why they bought their ticket a lot of people simply do not care but people they just i don't know if it's because they don't accept this or if they really think a lot of people care about this stuff that deeply they they don't they don't have time for that there's so many other things people are so preoccupied with that are innately going to take precedence over stuff involving strangers they don't care they're gonna go see scream 7 if it's marketed well if it's promoted well and of course if it's getting positive reviews to to aid in that if, if it were something they weren't even considering to go see they're 100 percent gonna go see it if that happens if it gets good press if it gets a lot of attention if the tv spots and all the footage the trailers etc all of that starts attracting them to, to the ones who again are not doing what we do looking up oh what drama are the directors involved in what scandals going on with this actor uh what asshole gary barber is up to like people are not they're just not doing that on a grand scale that's a very minuscule piece of people who go out and see these movies that are doing that but her and dempsey were reportedly of course as we know 
on the wish list for Spyglass. So if Vanderbilt hasn't been ordered to completely reboot the series, there's always a chance he's working on a story for Kincaid and Sydney. Keep in mind, Kevin Williamson at one point said that his Scream 6 would have seen Sydney getting married and Ghostface returns to ruin this. Now, maybe we see something like that in Scream 7. Obviously, with some rewiring, since she's already married, what if her and Kincaid are renewing their vows to open the film and the ceremony is ruined by a ghost face attack? You could also still do Christina Carpenter and we find out Sydney and Christina already knew each other. But because we've never met Christina, you could pull a Debbie once again and hide her in plain sight and people would not be expecting that to come because none of the cast members would even be announced as, hey, so-and-so is starring as Christina Carpenter. It would just be a, a while you're watching the movie type of twist. So just spitballing an idea there. Still, her comments are already again causing a fire because she didn't say what should have been said according to endless strangers like myself who do not know this woman. And I, I really do not care to know her. I don't mean that in any type of disrespectful way. I would be honored to meet her, tell her how much Sydney means to me, gush over how beautiful she is. But beyond that, I'm not looking to be friends with Nev Campbell or anything beyond a fan that appreciates her work as an actress. I suspect Spyglass is giddy about this if they even still want her back which again was in the cards for seven before landon melissa and ortega left it's very possible that under the right circumstances again from her own mouth could include spyglass being out of the picture because of how they treated her melissa etc but nev honestly strikes me like the type of person who knows it's just business and would sign up in a heartbeat if everything aligns with her business model i also can't really say i expect her to speak up for melissa because i don't know how close those two are also, with a company like Spyglass in charge, it is fair to consider this. Nev may never come across those right circumstances as she speaks about. So perhaps if he hasn't been ordered to write a Sydney-centric narrative, perhaps Vanderbilt is better off writing an entirely new story that would allow fresh blood to come in and eliminate a possible no-show from Nev if you pin a Sydney-centric story and Spyglass continues to fail to meet her standards. Just something to consider when we all want to start jumping down her throat because she didn't deliver the comments we would have loved to hear from her where she's bashing Spyglass, standing up for Melissa Barrera and all of that good jazz. Let me know what you guys think about these comments from Nev Campbell down in the comment section below about her being open to returning to the franchise. Uh, what do you think about it? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.